I just wanted to follow up, uh, Ambassador, with um, something you were telling me before about uh, the relationship that we have with some of the neighboring countries. And I wanted to know if you could just be a little more specific. Which countries? What is, what is the relationship? How is it helpful? Um, I think the, uh, the relationship between the Congo and the neighboring countries is such that we want to avoid the problems that we had in the past. We had countries going into the Congo to exploit their wealth. And so what we're trying to do is have a protection and respect for the sovereignty of states. That's number one. Number two is to improve the relationships uh, between these countries. One of the process or fundamental objectives we, we participate in the tripartite long ago, but it continues today, is to how do you open and maintain a dialogue between all these countries with each other? It, obviously, they all have their own respective strategic interests, but how do you support and coordinate, for instance, Rwanda with the concerns on the FDLR, mm -hmm. or Uganda with the, the problems um, with the LRA and other issues, with the CAR and the Congo Brazzaville, Burundi? Maybe I misunderstood you earlier. I thought you were referring to the U.S. relationships with some of the other African countries in trying to help with the situation. I think, well, in that context, the United States plays a role because we're kind of like the neutral observer, the neutral arbiter, and we've been able to um, give information, bring parties together, but more important is to be a neutral person to hear the, uh, the issues on all sides. And I think that's a, a very critical and important role that we play. Okay. Thank you.